Okay, class, so now we're going to try to paint the trees that we did during our Zoom meeting earlier this week. Now, for this project, since it's for a grade and I want it to turn out nice, I have drawing paper. Now, instead of drawing paper, you could also use drawing or multimedia paper. Those are pretty much the best papers you can use because they take paint really, really well, and it's much easier to do these trees with paint. If you don't have that, you can still use notebook paper. You can still use just regular printer paper. But if you do have this nicer paper, please use it. Anytime we're going to do a project that's, you know, for a grade, anything we want to keep for a long time, this paper is really the way to go. And this is only 9 by 12. If you can get a much bigger one, even better. We want to use much bigger paper. We want to get used to drawing big. Now, for the paints, I've got watercolors here. And I have tempers that I have poured out up here. I like tempers for this project. I think they're much easier to use. But if all you have is tempers, that's fine. You can always use tempers. And again, if all you have is crayons, use whatever you have. That's the most important thing. We do want to have a finished project. Now, I'm going to start this as quickly as I can, going through the same steps that we did earlier. The first thing I'm going to do is the ground. For the ground, I can get brown, black, really any color I want to. And I'm just going to paint a line down here at the bottom to be my ground. That well, was pretty easy. If you really want to paint this in, you can, but I'm only worried about lines for right now. Next, I'm actually going to start painting the trunk. Now, for the trunk, I can use any color I want to. I can use gray, I can use brown, black. I want to use black. Black, and here in Austin, Texas, we have a lot of trees that have a black bark, and they have a skin that is black, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to start with a thick, thick, thick line. So draw two and then paint in between. There's my nice thick trunk right there. Then after that, I'm going to start with my branches. Remember, I have three kinds of branches. The big, huge daddy branches. Big, huge daddy. Big, huge daddy branches. Then I got some mamas. The mamas stick out of the daddies. They come back to daddy, back to daddy, back to daddy. And the last one I have are the wee little baby branches. They can go wherever they want to, mommy or daddy. After that, you can always come back and you can make the bottoms of these branches thicker. You're going to taper the bottoms to make them look a little more realistic because in real life, trees are very thick down here and they get very skinny when they come up to the top. Now that's it for my tree. Now I'm going to start putting some leaves on. For the leaves, you can use any color. Uh, you can use green, uh, yellow, orange. Now that it's fall, we're going to see the leaves changing into a lot of different colors. I think I'm going to go ahead and just go with uh, red. So I'm going to grab some red, get a lot of paint on here. If you're using tempers, you really don't want a lot of water. You want to paint with a paint. You don't want to paint with water. And I'm just going to put, boom, a little leaf, leaf, leaf. I don't want to do this. I have a lot of kids that try to paint following the branches. No, in real life, you're going to see all these leaves together. And you're going to see a lot of these leaves going on top of the branches, even covering some of these up. We're going to try to make a natural shape. Natural shape means that this is going to look kind of like a circle. And to make it look like a circle, I kind of have to fill that in. So I can't just do leaves here and there. i got to do as many as I can all over the place, even where there are no branches, to try to make this look a little more like a circle. So here I am just dotting it out. Probably the easiest way to make leaves is just push the brush down. Just push it down. Fill this in. You can leave some gaps, but you want to make this look as much like a circle as you can. Now, that's my circle. You could have made this into a rectangle, square, whatever, but this is fairly good for me. Now that I'm finished with this, I'm going to start putting in some details in the background. Now, the, remember, the one thing I don't want you to do is paint the sky. It's going to take too much paint. There's no way you're going to be able to go in between all these little front leaves. So just don't do it. You can paint the ground if you'd like. That's fine. I got no problem there. You can make it all dirt. You can come over here, you can get some green. You can always put some nice little grass sticking up out of the top. We're trying to make as many lines as we can. You can even get really, really fancy and try to make things like, oh, I don't know, flowers. I could even use different colors here. I could put rocks by mixing some of these colors. I could put white and black together and put a couple little rocks, whoops, a couple little rocks down here. You could put a rainbow, you could put clouds, just again, don't paint the sky. So that's a very simple way to paint a tree. And as I said, tempers much easier to use than crayons. They really are. Uh, and if you can get your hands on these tempers, please do. Uh, watercolors will work, and I will go ahead and make another video with watercolors, but they are a little more challenging. There's some things you got to think about. So I hope to see these, and good luck.